Welcome back everyone to episode 4 of Let's Play Rule the Waves as Russia. I want to start off by just saying that so far already the comments have been phenomenal in the first three videos that the letter writing and all that has been, it's been a lot of fun. So keep it up if you'd like. Um, just in case I missed anybody's names, again just post in this video, or actually I haven't changed anything since episode 3 I think. So if your name was missing in episode 3 and you responded on video three, I'll change that. Okay, so here we are in the middle of this heavy cruiser battle. I think, for example, the Bogotir is gonna be given to, uh, I forgot who is going to be the new captain of this ship, but yeah, I haven't changed things uh, since video three quite yet. So let's get to what we're doing here. We have three heavy cruisers. It looks like that's the entirety of it. Two divisions for some reason, although that's gonna help us, I mean, the smaller grained your forces are, the more impact your admiral can have on control, as long as the micromanagement doesn't get too tedious. So let's get our graphic options up so we have a good idea of what's going on. And let's, well, that didn't take very long. Okay, probably we don't need to worry about torpedo range. I'll leave it on though, just because if we do get that close, it's gonna be urgent for us to take some kind of evasive action or make sure that we're launching torpedoes, etc. I see, so both of these two are actually scouting for the Lotnik, who's the flag, uh, I guess the flagship of this group, of this division, or squad, I don't know, uh, I'm not sure. So let's take these guys off of scouting, let's change them to, I guess let's make them core, and put them into line ahead. So they will be the core group of this of the flag commander. Let's get everyone to go squad max. Well, let's get these guys to go, whoops, maybe 18, just so that Lotnik can catch up. And what do we have here? We, we are on the correct side for the win, that's the good news. The Pamyat Azova, which is the class namesake. The good news is She has responded into the line ahead formation. Oh no, I didn't realize is this. <laughs> so you can see it's twilight over here. Down here you can see it's day. Now it goes to twilight in that little box, which means the nighttime is coming. Which also means we don't have very much time before things get a little bit too up close and personal. Well, I think, oh boy, that's really not good. So I am using this bug where the, you can control the AI just by continuing to issue them orders. I think we can turn off AI control now. We can indeed. So we'll get the Bogotier to line up and we'll begin our bombardment. Now they probably also have a scouting element and a non-scouting element. Let's see what we're up against here. They landed the first hit, but it was not a penetrating hit. They have two nine inch guns and 10 seven inch guns, so five per side, as well as three four inch guns per side. Their armor is a little thicker than us, so it's really, who is it? who wins between better armor and better armament? And they only have armor, slightly better armor, so we, I would give us the edge here. We want to try to get in range of our um, five-inch guns as well, 9,800 yards. And what's the dispersion? The distance to target is, I don't do the conversions between <laughs> five nautical miles and yards. So, okay, we're about. <laughs> I think we're just over, so we're right about here. Uh, we're just about at 9,100 yards, so probably we have to close a little bit more and then we'll be in range for our five inch guns. Okay, yeah, our five inch guns are now firing. We have eight per side, That that is pretty crazy. That is a lot for a heavy cruiser. A very sizable armament. 
what's the speed of this guy? 22. Okay, so we're, we're on a pretty even playing field. The small trade-off is armor for better guns. I'm actually going to have the Lotnik continue and trail from the stern of the Pothu class. The idea here is um, she'll be in position to cut off any kind of retreat. Which, ooh, we got a few penetrates against us. This is where we're going to want to know the torpedo range. I'm going to encourage torpedo launching just in case that actually happens to be <laughs> a factor. They might have better torpedoes than us, so we have to presume that they're launching. Although, we didn't really do much. Okay, their 7-inch guns are still deadly for us. A hit on our engine room. Yeah, they're probably the reason why they're able to... Whoops, go up, not down. To bob and weave like they've been doing is because we weren't going our full speed. But we're going to go up to 20. Which is still not our full speed, but... The Lotnik is now engaging from the stern, and uh, this might be the end of the engagement. So we've run them down, but... I think we can disengage AI control. That might... it might already be too late. Let's try to get everyone to go squad max. Probably she's going to escape. If she was to turn back towards the nearest port. I mean, she's in ho our home waters. I don't want to just let her get away. Let's try to cut her off over here and then move back up to see if she tried to use the coastline to navigate her way out. I'm just going to run continuously because if she hasn't made any drastic maneuvers, um, we can't catch her. She just decides to move in one direction. We'll never catch her, so let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's slow down. That's a good point. Let's go down to 16. And actually... Core line ahead. I will engage um, AI mode just so... Yeah, this is perfect. We'll move as one line. Okay, a little bit closer. We're just going to peruse the coast to see if maybe she got caught. Looking for a way out. It doesn't look like it. No sign of her. Okay, well, um, a minor a minor victory for us. As far as the details go, yeah, we did more damage to them. <clears throat> we scored, I guess it was six medium hits each, but my is my nine-inch gun considered a medium gun? I'm not sure. I see what's happening. So... We scored many hits, supposedly, six, but three of mine penetrated and only one of his penetrated. So that's probably what's going on here. All right, so let's find out where they went. Oh my gosh, it was this cruiser all by itself too. Well, that's disappointing. When you're given three to one odds, you wanna take that one home, but they eluded us. I wonder what they, what kind of, what did they do? Okay, so after it looks like they did not, so we were pursuing, they just broke immediately west. Actually, that's kind of what I did. I didn't actually, I, just, I didn't break west hard enough. So at 1600, we were very close to each other, but I hadn't come south far enough. If I had angled more towards the gap, we would have found them. Well, we'll never know about this though, so irrelevant. All right, let me resize our main window. Also, I hope the sound is okay on this one. I thought, um, in my opinion, the microphone was a little muted, a little bit lower volume than typical on the last video, so hopefully it's better. 
Okay. Well, basically we've had two almost nothing battles. Ones that don't really count for much. Skirmishes, really. Just testing each other. Neither has really given any serious engagement. So let's see if that changes on the next turn. Wow, negotiated peace. <laughs> we haven't done anything. Oh, we're now blockading them. Very good. We will attempt to push on. Okay, so again, they lost a submarine. We didn't sink anything, but oh, here we go. A battleship engagement. To arms, men. Sound the general quarters. Because here we go. Alright, let's see if we have anybody in here. Uh-huh, we have the Pollock. And we have some ships right on top of each other, so... Probably the best way for us to determine who's in the battle is just to go this way. Okay, so let's see who we have. We have the Pollock and the Bogatir again. Other than that, we only have four battleships. And somehow, just by, <laughs> by a miracle, <laughs> none of these happen to be captained by uh, our... Well, the, the captains that I've assigned. These are the old guard, the old guard left over from, you know, the, the, the pre... Admiral Tortuga era. Let's see how they perform. This could end up being the, the benchmark for performance with all our new captains. Okay, so let's now talk about how we want to engage this. We only have four battleships and I'm, I mean, I can rest well assured that France has more than that. They probably have close to all of these in the Northern Europe area because where else would they be? Um, maybe some of them are in the Mediterranean, so I would still my best guess is probably eight. Out of those eight, how many are here? Well, I don't think the, I don't think they would throw us into hugely lopsided odds, especially because we also had more battleships in the area. But you never know. Let's take a look at the time. It's just in the early afternoon. We should have enough time to get off somewhat of an engagement. So let's adjust the window, get all our things going. Turn off that. All right, so we're gonna take these guys off of scout mode, put them into support, line ahead. And let's get them to go squad max. Same thing with these guys, take them off screen. Squad max. Okay, so that's gonna help their fighting position. We're gonna get these battleships Okay, we need to tilt to the west in order to take advantage of the wind, which means that everyone has to do that. These guys will... I need to slow them down from max a little bit, just because the elements of the division need to catch up and form the new formation. So we're right now we're flagging to the side cruisers to change formation. Destroyers, I'm not much concerned what happens with these. If they all sink, well, so be it. The words which were never actually uh, uttered by Admiral Tortuga, but that it, those are his sentiments, in fact. <laughs> okay, so we have the battle division turning left with this other battle division. So we'll get this guy to go 8, well, I guess we'll have to go 19, and this one will have to go 18, just because I don't, I'm kind of curving inside of this, the first formation's turn. And I want to maintain a battle line like we already have. So it looks like the other division here, which I can't get a hold of, I could just do it this way though, is the heavy cruiser. We will get these guys to go squad max and actually we'll leave them on the inside of the... No, that's a bad idea. Let's leave them on the outside of the battleships. Okay. I think we're all set here. Everyone's been given orders. Let's proceed. And Admiral Tortuga is in is present for this engagement. Uh-huh. 
So I guess what's happening is both the heavy cruiser and the other battleship were on core mode. I would rather these guys be independent and these guys switch to core for the battle division. Let's see if that holds. It did, supposedly. Yeah, now they're independent to this battleship. I'm not sure what that means, but the desired effect was achieved at least as long as... Okay, so these guys need to come up a little. As long as they, under AI control, would follow. I'm not sure what the independence would do. So let's make sure we're <laughs> paying attention to what, what's coming at us here. Oh, wow. They have a very solid screening force. Come back. We need to probably make even stronger, um, even further to the west. Okay, what do we have here? So we have a Pothau class, we've already encountered one of them. This might really just be a heavy cruiser screening, which if they have that, that's bad news for us, because we don't have heavy cruisers screening, we have them as part of our main formation. Yeah, it looks like it's this is the case. So they have two 8 inch guns, eight seven. very strange, but kind of realistic to the time period where you'd have, you know, this is not yet the all big gun era, you have multiple big guns. Alright, so we've kind of already gotten the west side advantage. That's right, west side advantage. Sounds pretty funny. Our light cruiser is bringing up the rear. This one I need to be in the front. I want to make sure we can launch torpedoes so that these destroyers which go in, let's just immediately prep them for line abreast, turn together, slow them down just a bit so they can get into formation. Okay, they have been given the orders. All right, how are we doing? Let's merge these two back. It looks like we're gonna be just perfect. These guys are gonna slide in front. These guys need to go squad max to get out of the way of our battleships. This guy's perfect bringing up the rear. And this guy will bring up the rear as well <laughs> later, as soon as he gets down. And our destroyers probably have to peel back like this. So they are not, uh, getting in the way of our line of fire. So early on that the firing range is really small. Okay, this looks better. Now torpedo range is just so small, it's gonna be very difficult, but if we can yeah, this is very strange. I don't know what they're doing. I don't really care about these destroyers, though, so in my opinion, this is what it takes for us to get on the west side. Possibly launch torpedoes. I'm gonna turn back. Give the flag signal for them to retreat from their torpedo run. Mission accomplished already. We successfully, like, forced them to turn into a disadvantageous position. Now we can kind of come around the side and see what they do. Knowing, of course, that probably there's another, the big force, <laughs> further ahead. We are really circling each other. All right, well, let, there's one way to solve this. We'll go line ahead for a moment. I mean, we'll go right at them for a second. And when we turn back north, we'll be perfectly in our battle formation.
So we have a little bit of time. We can actually come at kind of an angle to decrease the amount of time we need to go to turn before we can get our full broadside off. I think that they're not buying it though. I mean, they surely have battleships here. This is a battleship engagement, right? We'll send this guy north to scout while the rest of these people I lose control of. They're just outside of range. And probably there's nothing we can do about that. They're the more maneuverable force. And they're the faster one. So we're just going to kind of keep closing the range. All right. We're actually getting some engagement in. That's good. Opening fire with our 12-inch guns. Dead calm means that I... This was actually blocked by my microphone. So. <laughs> so dead calm means we shouldn't worry about the wind at all. We just need to worry about getting close, which is good. That means I don't need these guys to scout as far ahead because we just need to know when they're coming and our vision range is so much greater than uh, the weapons for this time period. We don't need to worry about it. What I think we're going to need to do is get these guys to drop back into line ahead and they're going to have to shoot ahead and try to force some kind of maneuver out of these heavy cruisers. That's the only way we'll be able to catch them. Otherwise, we'll just be dancing around them forever. They're just they're playing with us. So we'll send everyone north except for the battleships and a, well, I guess a small complement of escorts. And we'll see what we can get. Maybe we can trick them into a maneuver to the south. Up, oh, okay, turn north. There they are. Okay, how do we do this? I think we're gonna put the heavy cruisers on our east to shield. So now we need these guys to, let's see. I don't know whether I want the destroyers to go which way. All right, we don't want the double formation here. Who's technically the leader? This guy is not, so we'll have him turn in. Yeah, okay, so we'll do squad max with this guy. Get this guy to slow down to turn behind. That did not look good. Okay, they're now going the direction they should. If these heavy cruisers come in like that, we'll be getting the full broadside off on them. So we just have to try to arrange our flag ships, which are not in good position yet, by the time they encounter the enemy battleships. Good, so. All right, what are we dealing with here? Marengo class, that sounds mighty familiar. Well, I would say that we're pretty even. They have less displacement. It looks like most of their displacement comes off of their armor. We're actually pretty even in terms of weapons. And this is definitely a ship I think our Russian fleet can take. So let's go at it then. Come on, form up, form up. We should be formed by the time we get over there, though. Hmm. <laughs> Want the destroyers to pull off to the east? They'll be. Uh, I'm actually going to get these guys to spin around in a circle. Destroyers will be a reserve force. To f maybe we can even slice through the middle. Wow. 
they definitely have a numerical advantage. I think it's pretty clear. Even their scouting force was like three heavy cruisers compared to my three light cruisers. But that's okay. Our line is forming up nicely. Let's get everyone to slow down to 17. gonna make sure that you chase these guys off but the more in a line we are the better firing positions we have just need these guys to line up there we go that's better it's really hard to get them to stay in formation the way I want I generally have to pick a place at the edge of the map and then click there so they both move in the same direction okay we can do more or less the same thing with this one these guys actually need to stay a little bit par parallel from that line. Not intercept. Okay, all right, here we go. Again, again, and again, here we go. So the destroyers are, I don't know what they're doing. And it looks like we had, wait, so much time has passed before our fleets converged that it's starting to get dark. I mean, it is basically early February, so um, we'll have a little bit more light and then we have to decide whether we want to risk our battleships going into torpedo range, which is probably what the nighttime will hold for us. And we all, for anybody who's seen my previous series, we know how lucky I usually get with torpedoes. Um, if you don't know, I usually get very unlucky. Have a really hard time of it. We managed to actually keep everyone in command range though, and that's a great achievement by itself. We need everyone to basically button up a little bit tighter. Because it's going to get chaotic in a moment, but I think we can drive our line past theirs. This could be good. And the ones, the kings of the battlefield and slow and like poor visibility, definitely are destroyers. We're going to prepare them to make the turn into the battle line, the French battle line. Okay, they're ready. Everyone else weave back like that. All right, let's see what happens and then let's get our Okay, yeah, we need we should make our move. We should turn more up because they we are going to be in range now. I made my turn, but some of my other ships didn't make their turn. We want our battleships just to get as close as possible. Okay, we're opening fire. Now is when the real battle begins. Let's see, is there anything useful over here? Some unidentif unidentified ships, looks like light cruisers. And one, okay, there is a battleship group over there. We could make a run at it. Let's go ahead and try to do it. They're separating off. If they try to turn back south, I want my destroyers in position. So flag over to them to make a move. Now we're cutting off, we're isolating part of their battleship fleet, which is great. Give the order to increase to maximum speed. Because if these guys are going to make a turn, I want to be there. If we can't cut these guys off, we'll try to cut the southern part off. We see the people in the south. The scouting force, French scouting force, is now reappearing in the southeast. But I think we can handle them with our heavy cruisers still. Right now our heavy cruisers actually have the um, luxury of being able to fire from their guard position on the east. They're still able to fire at some of these other ships. And they're probably taking some return fire as well, but the destroyers, the ones who I don't care about at all, and probably thank goodness for that, because we'll probably lose a few in that in in the fray over here. So we'll keep going. Alright. Here we go. Let's get these guys to go 18. I just I want them to be behind my battleships. So even if we have two lines, I don't want them... They're interfering with each other right now, which is not what I want. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not seeing... Are we launching torpedoes? 
Heavy damage detachment, not surprising. We're basically getting their entire battle battle ship line to retreat out, which is what you would expect from a torpedo charge. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we've launched any torpedoes. Pull out, Bernie. Pull out. Very unlikely that any of these ships will survive. And we, unfortunately, aren't going to be able to take advantage of it, really. So, I haven't seen any torpedo launches yet. Am I mistaken? Two, two and two. Two and two. Let's try to keep them maybe on the same course for a little bit to try to give them torpedo vectors so they can actually get a torpedo solution. Okay, how we doing? We're still keeping those guys off. That's good. These guys should race ahead a little bit faster because they don't need to be behind the heavy cruisers. They just need to be in front of the battleships. Okay. We launching torpedoes yet? I mean, to say that we're in range is an understatement. It's point blank. Just put those fish in the water, boys. Hmm. Unsuccessful. Okay, well, you can say unsuccessful. I, I just did. But at the same time, we did cause a lot of chaos in their fleet. We just don't have enough time to capitalize on it with nighttime coming. Kind of a last ditch effort. We could have gotten lucky, but we didn't. Yeah, doesn't look like we will be able to engage. And we're kind of in a bad position because at this point, I, I really need our light cruisers to move back to protect us for when darkness falls. I've so often fought the Russian Navy in my playthroughs that I keep thinking the Russian flag is an enemy unit. <laughs> All right, vision is greatly reduced. Let's kind of chart things in our head, see where everyone is. They do have an Marengo class up here. I think that total number of hits in this so far has been, I mean, almost nothing. Very little ammo has been fired. All right, well, this is also where the heavy cruisers will come in handy, so let's get them squad, squad max. They'll probably turn to AI control, actually. A lot of ships will. The fact that we can see this redoubtable class, I wonder if somehow we landed a lucky hit and it caught on fire. I doubt it, though. So let's just stay in formation, which will hopefully help us against any like torpedo runs that they present. And actually, the Bernie might get out of here. Let me go ahead and detach her. Send her home to port. Hopefully, that is all I need to do. How damaged are you? You're also pretty badly damaged. Yeah, okay, let's detach you as well. I mean, neither of you guys launched your torpedoes, which is embarrassing. So if you decide to go back to port, that's fine. If you decide to go scuttle yourself off on the side in uh, self-pity, that's also acceptable. The Russian Navy tolerates, does not tolerate failure. Yeah, the Bernie has decided that his the shame of his actions is too great, and he's trying to push back to the west. Good man. Okay, so let's just check out those torpedo ranges. That's definitely torpedo range. <laughs> let's get... You guys should change positions. How about that? I, when that pop-up came, I held my breath. We also need to slow down a little bit. Huh. This is a heavy cruiser? Well, if it is, then engage. By all means, engage. And torpedoes are completely fair game at this close range. Okay, so we have our heavy cruisers here. That's good. Good screening position. I'm gonna get these guys to go AI controlled. Maybe they'll make torpedo runs just on their own. Sometimes that helps. Okay, we got a few hits. 12-inch guns. It is, this is the Marengo class. They have four submerged mounts. Wow, we have to be very careful. Woo. But at the same time, 
We are hitting them. Oh my gosh, this is... It's, it's like a trap. It's so tempting. And Admiral Tortuga's first action, first main action of his career. We're going to push on. Hopefully we don't get hit by torpedoes. They're moving a lot to, in order for them to try to even get a solution. We'll just monitor that. But they might be coming closer for a reason. At the same time, we why aren't we launching torpedoes? This is like the ideal range. Okay, my light cruisers are actually screening well. And the fact that we're still getting hits through that is good. Yeah, we're in really good formation here. And we launched a torpedo. Oh my gosh, we pummeled them. Oof. Okay, the light cruisers are starting to take a little bit of damage here, but we'll turn our battleships in. Oh, it's looking good, it's looking good, it's looking good. Go down to slow speed. Torpedoes in the water. Oh, man. Okay, let's see what we have. The Marengo's being blasted. We have the Ocean Class also being hit. Even our Bogatier's getting in on the action. Oh, they're making a run at us. What the heck? I was not aware of this. Yeah, okay. Well, you guys should be launching torpedoes then. It's, I mean, it's clear. Anybody, everyone, anyone and everyone should be launching torpedoes. Could try to cut off this is probably their battleship line. No, let's not. Let's just hold together in our formation. See what happens. We're still landing good hits. They're per turning away. This is good. That is a lot of light cruisers. Yeah, they're pulling back. And we're okay with that. Let our line just go up and ravage whoever's close. But after that, we'll just pull off from combat. Okay, so these guys are getting... But we're actually... This is not as dangerous for torpedoes because... Um, our heavy cruisers are here, one. They are now putting themselves in between our battleships and these destroyers. Oh, those are destroyers. That is kind of dangerous. <laughs> we should be blasting the hell out of them. Pursue. Not the heavy cruisers. Don't pursue with the heavy cruisers. I think we might just disengage now as well. I think we've done some good damage with our last few volleys. And it's nighttime. And I wish the game wouldn't give me... I wish there was an option even to set, like, limit nighttime engagements. We will just stay, hopefully long enough to finish off this class. Okay, we got another six inch hit on it. And now the lines are gonna deteriorate quite a bit. But that's okay. Basically everyone's gonna go back to AI control. Okay, well, very good. I think this was a good engagement. I'm pretty happy with it. We'll step up to fast, and we'll just kind of let everyone go to AI control as we pull away from Brest. We'll head um, over to the Celtic Sea. Yeah, just let everyone go ultra fast. Oh my god, what in God's name are they doing? Okay, if I don't calm down, I'm gonna pull my hair out. I, can, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I guess my orders weren't accepted in the end. Oh my god, if they get hit, I swear. Yeah, I have no problems taking advantage of the AI. Okay, now they say that they're correctly. Okay, these guys are independent, so I don't. I'm not supposed to have control over them. 
Bernie sacrificed himself for his lack of ability to launch torpedoes. That's fine. I find that completely acceptable. Okay, so let's just run like this. This is silly, but fair enough. Just, just get out of here, for crying out loud. Oh, I see. We're going to have to continue to press the matter indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad that these guys won't listen to orders. Now the Pollock has been hit by a torpedo. Just get the flippin' heck out of there. Ugh, it just drives me batty. It drives me absolutely crazy. Okay, let's make you um, a scout for the, the battleship. I don't care. Just not whatever you are. A scout for the, the, the cruisers. What are you? Your support? That's fine. Okay. Can we go now? Are we... Is Pollock going to sink? I just want to uh, throttle <laughs> the Pollock. <laughs> I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. You know, I wasn't really paying attention. I just, once you go to AI control, you expect that everyone just goes with your flagship. It didn't happen. Well, that's going to give us something to do. It'll give the Pollock a... F let's let's um, role play here for a moment. Let's go back and pick up the Pollock survivors on the lifeboat. Like, I have no... In God, what in God's name are you doing? What in God's name are you... I can't even change them. The, they're just going crazy. Uh... uh well, a few things could be worked on with the AI, I think it's fair to say. <laughs> so, obviously a, France, uh, a French victory because basically the Pollock went back in and got torpedoed and was sunk. If it wasn't for that, look at how clearly it would have been a victory for us. So the Pollock gave up 15,000 points that didn't need to be given up. And without those 15,000 points, we would have won about 3,600 to 900. Okay, well, that's okay. Like I said, this will just give us something to do. So uh, we'll have a, a small deficit we'll have to fight our way out of. And uh, it looks like we went back and we're able to rescue the Pollock, more or less. So, pick up the survivors. We were at least en route to pick them up, which will make for some fun role-playing aspects. I just don't understand the AI sometimes. Um, I seem to remember having put the battleship. I'll have to go back and double check. Maybe I made a mistake, but I thought I put it as core under our battleship, which means it shouldn't have been over there. Now, if the heavy cruisers were over there, I, I can understand that because I put them to independent. But if I had noticed that, I would have just put them on a scout or something so that they would have come home. I don't know. It just, you know. I would rather they all just stay together like this. This is what I would have wanted. See, this is the formation I was expecting when I just put things to ultra fast. So let's um let's end this battle before we end the the video. There are rumors failing morale in the French fleet of falling morale in the French fleet. Probably is what it should say. Which is strange, because they kind of won that battle. But we are blockading them. So, uh, yeah. Well, that was it. We'll have to see what's up. I'm actually going to save it here, not get into another battle. Because I wasn't able to edit any of the ships um, that people were requesting. If anybody requests, re yeah, requested a captain to captain a ship in episode 3... I wasn't able to do that from like in between the videos just because we were every time I loaded into the game to like make an adjustment I was loading into the battle. So I'm going to save it here. Thanks for watching and hopefully we can do better in the next battle, but that remains to be seen and it remains to be seen if the AI <laughs> will detach itself and sabotage my best efforts. 
Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video.